And welcome to the Citizen Report Special Bulletin. I'm Jonathan Shannon in North Carolina. I'm joined by my good friend David Heller in Oklahoma, who unfortunately has some not so great news from the South on that tornado outbreak we were telling you about that was likely to happen and unfortunately did happen across much of the southern United States. I want to turn it over now to David to basically give everyone an update on that. Yes, thank, thank you very much for that, uh, Jonathan. And, and yes, as uh, Jonathan said, unfortunately, uh, this forecast turned out exactly or just about exactly what I feared uh, what's going to happen. And uh, we did, unfortunately did, had a tornado outbreak. In fact, uh, just to uh, give everybody the numbers in this, out of, out of all the tornadoes that we had this entire Easter weekend, between Sunday and Monday, Monday morning, we had a total of 46 confirmed tornadoes. Uh, four of them were in Texas, seven were in Louisiana, three in Mississippi, including Basically, all of them, in fact, Jonathan, were probably tornado emergencies with those debris balls down there in that southern part of Mississippi. Nine were in Alabama, seven were in Georgia, eight in South Carolina, seven in North Carolina, and then one, which that occurred uh, going up from East Chattanooga to near Cleveland, Tennessee, that, like the ones in Mississippi, prompted a tornado emergency on that one. And sadly, uh, 33 people have lost their lives. Uh, 1.2 million uh, homes and businesses are in the dark um, as of this recording. That may have changed since then. And as of this recording, 33 have lost their lives. And 11 out of those 33, as of this recording, 11 of those were in Mississippi. So basically, those death tolls in Mississippi make up for uh, the 33 uh, that have lost their lives. In fact, um, so far, one person in South Carolina has been killed uh, from the storms that uh, came through on early Monday morning. Um, Another one in Georgia lost their lives. Uh, at least two people died in Georgia as well. Uh, in uh, Orangeburg County. Uh, in Colton County. They're, they're investigating one death. And uh, an elderly uh, woman lost her life as well uh, in this. So there were... Lots of fatalities, not only in Mississippi, but also in Georgia as well. Um, just, you know, just going on down here. In North Carolina, the Davidson County Sheriff's Office reported that a 61-year-old uh, was killed when a tree crashed into her bedroom in Lexington, North Carolina. And uh, in Tennessee, at least 20 people uh, had to be taken to the hospital and that 150 structures were damaged or destroyed in Hamilton County, Tennessee, and that two people there uh, lost their lives. And that tornado there in East Tennessee has been rated an EF3. And uh, obviously, as we mentioned, in Mississippi, 11 people, uh, unfortunately, has lost their lives um, elsewhere. In Alabama, in Jefferson County, near Birmingham, a person died when a tree fell on a home. And then two more were hurt as well. Back in Louisiana, about 300 homes in Monroe, which had the first tornado emergency of the day. Uh, 300 homes have been damaged or destroyed. And basically, they're calling on people to uh, pray for the city, which I agree with that. Uh, we definitely need, need to pray for those people. And uh, looks like no fatalities. So that is some that is some uh, good news, even though that uh, there were sob injuries. So basically, I think the key takeaway from all this is, unfortunately, 33 people uh, lost their lives um, in this. 
But I think the death toll could have been a whole lot worse if it wasn't for the COVID-19 restrictions. If, let's just say, if there were people that were gathered at church or maybe at their uncle's house, maybe their grand grandparents' house, what have you, for Easter, I think there could have been a lot more fat uh, fatalities than the 33. But I think, given the situation we're in right now with COVID-19, I think many of the lives, other than the 33 that were unfortunately lost, uh, were saved by not being um, out and about. So, uh, once again, 33 people are dead. Of uh, at least dozens upon dozens are heard across the south and southeast from these devastating storms, and uh, we will continue to. Keep everybody apprised on the situation as well coming up this weekend. Uh, once we get more information on the EF ratings from the tornadoes in South Mississippi, the tornado near Monroe, and all the other tornadoes, once we get those uh, EF ratings, we will pass that along to you um, as well. And I will turn that back over to Jonathan in North Carolina. All right. Thank you, David, and good reporting on that. Uh, I just want to basically kind of cap it off by just saying that uh, that we would that that uh, these these stay at home orders um, in a number of states um, that are in effect. We just want to say that we're certainly not advocating that these stay at home orders uh, in of itself, but that notwithstanding that, um, despite the, the harm being done to the economy with these stay-at-home orders, I'll just say that that as sort of an unintentional consequence of these stay-at-home orders, that there are people who whose lives have m possibly been saved um, as a result of being at home and not out at the mall, at least not in the, in the amount that it would have been had it been a normal uh, weekend day um out and about or at church what have you and um so unfortunately of course folks uh, tornado outbreaks this time of year are not uncommon and uh, in a number of states we have yet to reach the peak so please keep uh weather aware um and uh, we will of course keep you advised on the major outbreaks um that do come our way because they are of course very important to cover if you if you know people like us covering news uh, obviously, it's warranted. Um, and I'll just say that uh, in the coming weeks, David and I will have a, a severe weather preparedness episode where we kind of talk you through how to prepare for severe weather. Obviously, with COVID-19, everything has kind of got put on uh, the back burner for a while. But I do, I will just say on the record that we will get on that pretty soon, uh, albeit later than I had originally anticipated. But uh, uh, we will get on that in the coming weeks. And and before we close out this special bulletin, I just want to kind of give everyone a heads up on what's coming ahead on this next uh, edition of the Citizen Report. I'm going to debrief everyone and kind of talk through about what QAnon is, and I'm also going to kind of give everyone an overview of that and to the extent and capability that I can. Um, and also, I'm going to be talking about this stay-at-home order stuff once again and some of the more recent developments. And I'll just tell everyone this, that there is now a new movement in my state of North Carolina, and that's Reopen NC. Thousands and thousands of people are, are joining this movement to basically demand that our governor uh, reopen North Carolina. Uh, and I think it's and if I may just say real briefly, I think it's a great thing that people are uniting in this state to to um, exercise their constitutional and political obligations to to hold him to account on that. And it's not just here, but similar things are emerging, uh, namely in Michigan. So, again, I will be doing my best to cover all of that as well as anything else because uh, that happens between now and then, because obviously you can't tell what's going to happen uh, as the week progresses. But obviously, as uh, yesterday and today have proved, it's going to be a big news week. So we will do our best to keep you advised of all of that. And um, 
And on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into the special bulletin. And I uh, do want to just quickly say that you can visit our website, thecitizenreport.weebly.com. You can follow me on Twitter at the Jonathan News. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel using my full name, Jonathan Ryan Shannon, and also Jonathan Shannon on Facebook and Instagram. And David, um, do tell the audience where they can find you on Twitter and wherever else you'd like to mention. Uh, at David underscore Heller nine. And you can also find me at David Heller on Facebook and Instagram. And I am David Heller on YouTube and I am getting closer and closer to 400 subscribers. So, um, if you like great content, you know, mm -hmm. congratulations on that. That is certainly, um, a well-deserved accomplishment. Thank and you. And, uh, Definitely give me a sub, give me a follow, give me friend requests, what, what have you want to do it. All righty. Sounds good, David. And uh, yes, be sure to uh, check him out on those uh, various platforms, especially YouTube and Twitter, of course. And uh, thank, uh, I would like to thank everyone for tuning into the special bulletin. Again, this is not a normal episode of the Citizen Report. This is the Citizen Report, but it's not a normal episode, but a special bulletin rather. But a new episode, regular episode of the Citizen Report will be forthcoming uh, late this week, most likely. And uh, if you follow me on social media, I'll be putting out an announcement when a firm date can be uh, made on that. So on that note, thank you. Thank, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and uh, have a great rest of your week and uh, be safe and uh, God bless. And uh, we will see you again on the next edition of the Citizen Report. For now, good night, everybody. Good night. The Citizen Report is a production of New Shannon Media. All content protected under copyright.